making sure their message was not only heard, but seen today. Shipping industry is making millions, the, the business community is making millions. Why can't we get our increments? Port Equipment Operator 2 Dave Texaira was among several dozen employees who sought answers at today's board meeting as to why they haven't received increments in the last two years. Several years ago, the port approved the Allen Searle compensation study that sought to bring certain critical positions at the port closer to national averages. But after being brought up to the 10th percentile, the increments were frozen. It's high time that, you know, the, the, the board understand that, you know, we, we have to meet our obligations to the people of Guam, you know, and, you know, it, it'd be nice if we get compensated thoroughly. Stephen or leader Gilbert Santos echoed the sentiments, asking the board when the employees would be getting their pay. Another thing is uh, timeline, you know, because the holidays are finally approaching. Are we going to see it within reason, or are we looking at a year from now? Well, the the, um, we're working on it right now to make sure it's a responsible budget, that we have enough uh, uh, financial resources available to pay those increments to pay your regular salaries and benefits, to pay the overtime, to pay the equipment and the fuel and everything else that's required for the operation of this port. But the reason for the delay in paying the increments has been the lack of an approved fiscal year 2013 budget. Board Chair Dan Tidinko says management provided the board with an ill-conceived budget. It came to us at the 11th hour, almost uh, uh, before the end of the fiscal year, and the board looked at it and said, this is a very irrational, unreasonable budget. You're making silly requests like iPads. You're making uh, requests for uh, items that are unneeded here, um, uh, for pay raises for management. In fact, KUAM has learned that the planning division was asking for $45,000 for office supplies, which included the iPads, as well as another $2.5 million for management raises, not including the $1.6 million for the increments. The proposed budget also did not include the true costs for ensuring the new cranes and workmen's compensation as well as other items. Port General Manager Mary Torres told KUAM the iPads were part of a wish list, but they were nixed during the first round of cuts. Torres says now may not be the right time to purchase iPads, but she does support the planning division having them to do their work in the future. What was the justification for iPads? Nobody gave us a justification. How many iPads were they asking for? I, I, you know, I don't remember the number off the top of my head, but uh, even one is just too many for down here. You know, instead of iPads, um, the money should go towards the increments. And we have a responsibility on the board uh, to make sure that uh, those uh, public resources are spent properly, uh, that there's proper revenue projections to cover all of the, uh, the costs and expenses that are going to have to be incurred for the day-to-day -day, uh, operation of the sport. Board members are working with management to develop a sound budget. A working session is scheduled for December 5th, and if completed, the board could approve it during a meeting next month, just in time for Christmas for port employees. By Christmas, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that Director Director Baletto and Director Gibson are, are drilling into this thank very you, closely. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm India.